Okay, Kansas, as my adopted state, you know I love you. But the temperature of your air is too darn high, and so is the dew points. The humidity is killing me. So I'm headed west. The very next scene of this vlog will be me sitting next to a mountain stream in my home state of Colorado. And I just noticed my camera is focusing on this face, not on this face. It must be a sign. Good morning. And just like that, I'm back in my home state of Colorado. Why did I ever leave? <laughs> oh my gosh, it was cold last night. It felt so good to sleep under a blanket. Tuesday Kitty thought it was cold. She was all snuggled up with me when I woke up this morning and we were sharing body heat. It was the best feeling in the world. So let me tell you what I've been doing for the past few days. I've been storm camping. Storm camping is when you set camp right in what you believe will be the path of a thunderstorm. So I want to take you right now to my storm camp a couple days ago on the Colorado High Plains. Okay, I'm camped on the High Plains of Colorado. I chose this campsite specifically because I forecasted a storm to come through here. And in fact, that storm is here. That storm is right there. If I've been here for a couple hours, this place is absolutely quiet. There's nobody else around me. I've got cameras on tripods. Spent the past couple hours doing storm prep. Some of my gear under a tarp here. Got it anchored down to heavy five gallon water cans. You know there's a storm coming, right? So she'll be fine. She's a veteran of many of these storms. Got this cool little uh, overhang right here, which will afford uh, some rain protection. Uh, it is made out of metal, so uh, uh, it probably serves also as a pretty good lightning rod. Uh, when the uh, CGs get here, I'll want to be inside the vehicle. Ooh, lightning. Big bolt right over there. Got a little recorder going here so I can record the thunder as it occurs. I love this shelter. I wish it was made out of wood instead of metal though. I don't need to attract any more lightning than I already do. What you doing girl? Are you ready for this storm? Gorgeous back this way. This is camping on the high plains of Colorado. Oh, it's gonna rain real hard. Hope the wind doesn't blow too hard. Kitty, kitty. Oh, where's my kitty? I kind of wish it now I had turned the van into the storm. I'm getting broadsided by the wind now and it's really shaking back and forth. While I came here to shoot storms, and while I really enjoy this camp, I'm going to have to break camp because for 36 hours I've been watching this water rise. And there are trees out there that are now underwater. And I told myself that if the water level ever reached that brown post right there, I would break camp. I really had difficulty sleeping last night. I didn't think it was going to bother me as much as it did. But I just kept waking up in the middle of the night thinking that the water was up to my truck. So I'm going to break camp and I'm going to move to higher ground. Much higher. In fact, I'm moving to the mountains. I left the high plains to escape flood water. I came up to the mountains seeking higher ground. I thought certainly if I get up here, I can get away from flood waters. But you see this placid bubbling little brook? You should have seen it the day I got here. This thing was a torrent. 
It was washing campers away, tents, campsite, everything going downstream. So stay tuned for my next vlog episode, which takes place here in the Phantom Canyon and describes my experience with the Phantom Canyon flood. You gonna be able to drive out?